In today's video, I'd like to talk a little bit about slurring on a classical guitar, but uh, the techniques employed here in slurring uh, for classical guitar will also work for a steel string acoustic. Now, it's important to understand that there are some differences in slurring on a classical or steel string guitar from, say, an electric guitar. So in electric guitar, you can get away with a little bit less physical movement because you have the aid of, of the pickup and the amplifier. And if you have particularly hot pickups or you're playing in a particularly live room, then you get a lot of response from very little movement uh, by the left hand. Whereas on an acoustic steel string guitar or a classical guitar, we actually have to, to excite the string a bit more, especially when we're playing a descending slur or what is known as a pull-off. So I want to start with a basic ascending or hammer-on slur from the first fret to the second fret. Now one of the common misconceptions about an ascending slur is that we really have to hammer quite hard to get a, a good so sound out of the instrument. So you see a lot of, of especially beginning players, with, they have this great big wind-up in their, in their slur makes it much more difficult to be accurate and it takes a longer amount of time, a greater uh, amount of time to actually complete the slur. Right? Well actually all we're trying to achieve whenever we're playing an ascending slur is to very quickly seat the string against the fret that we are slurring to. Right? So I can play a very loud and very clear slur with very light but very quick movement virtually no wind-up. I'm starting less than a centimeter from the fretboard. Right? And so what I recommend is we start any slur exercise. There are lots and lots of wonderful slurring exercises out there. But you can start with some very basic combinations, right? So you can slur from an open string to the first fret with the first finger. And then first finger to second finger sure that as I begin, the finger that I'm going to slur to is as close to the string as possible and as close to the fret as it can possibly be without actually touching the fret itself. I can do the same thing from second to third finger and third finger to fourth finger. I would recommend trying this exercise with any combination of fingers. Start with just pairs, so you can do one and two, or you can do one and three, one and four, two and three, and two and four. And those are some very basic slurring exercises. And again, make sure that you your hand is very relaxed, you have very a stable but but light pressure on the string or on the fret and finger from which you are slurring and then just light and quick movement with each finger <clears throat> now for descending slurs, it's it's quite a bit different. So the descending slur, or what we know in guitar vernacular as being a uh, a pull off, we actually aren't doing what we typically do with an electric guitar, where you just sort of lift the finger, and then you basically you get plenty of sound, right? Pick up and the amp are taking care of it for you, right? But with an acoustic instrument, you actually have to re-articulate the string, and in doing this, we actually do a very quick snap downward with the finger. So there's some things here that you have to keep in mind. Um, otherwise we end up overplaying or you get some funny things that happen like for example pulling a string off of the bottom of the, of the fretboard. You probably had this frustration if any of you who are just starting out on the guitar and learning how to play uh, a pull off or a descending slur. You, you may have actually pulled the string off of the fretboard itself. Right? So a couple of things have, have to happen. First you need to make sure that the finger that you're slurring to 
uh, is is secure, right? So that, that you have firm pressure, but you're not squeezing, you're not overplaying, but but firm pressure. And then one of the things that tends to causes um, to, tends to cause fingers to be uh, uh, pulled off of the fretboard or bending notes out of pitch, sort of the, this kind of strange thing that can happen, is uh, the, the the finger that is pulling off, right? <clears throat> is moving too slowly through the string. Right? So you kind of get this and you end up bending the note out of pitch, right? So what you want is this downward movement, almost like a left-handed rest stroke, right? That's very light and very quick, that it goes through the string very quickly. Right? So you can play long notes, but still having quick movement. Two to three. Excuse me. Three to two. And then four to three. And I'm just playing very quickly the finger going through the string. Being careful not to pull like this, right? Not to squeeze too hard. But just firm pressure and very quick to the string, like a snap. And then you can combine these things, right? So you can do an ascending slur and then a descending slur. So you can play, this is a very common exercise, play one to two, and then two to one. One to two, and two to one. Then you can go to the next, you can go two to three. ascending slur and then a descending slur. So playing again one, slurring up to two, and I play two, slurring down to one. One to two, two to one. Like that. Right? And so there, those are some basic slurring exercises you can do across all strings and in all different positions all the way up and down the neck that will help to um, uh, clarify or add clarity to your to your slurring um, and help you gauge where you might be using a little bit too much tension in the left hand or perhaps you're not using quite enough force in certain areas as, as well although i would be careful typically in slurring people tend to overplay and not underplay right usually if we bend a, a string out of pitch it's not because we aren't applying enough force it's actually because we're we are we're playing the slur too slow slowly right so um Good luck and happy practicing and we'll see you soon.